Hi, and welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, sniff passwords with Wireshark. So, basically, what we're going to be doing is just uh, basic HTTP sniffing um, with Wireshark. The same can be done with a man in the middle tool like BetterCap, um, which I have shown in the past. Um, also, I know some of you guys want to see website penetration testing. Um, this kind of goes along with that, but I'm going to be using uh, my Metasploitable box to show you some SQL injections and um, some uh, simple um, cross-site scripting and stuff like that. But we'll be using a uh, damn vulnerable web app, uh, multi-day and things like that of this nature. So I'm here on my Metasploitable test box here, and we just have a normal uh, unencrypted um, HTTP login. So all you need to do is, if you would, like with any um, any type of internal pen test, um, you would be want to be running a man in the middle or a, at least a packet sniffer minimum, um, which would be, you know, Wireshark or BetterCap. So we're going to fire up Wireshark, and just to figure out your interface, you can simply look at the traffic coming into it. Um, Wireshark has a little display here. You can hit any interface, um, but this is your loopback address. Um, this is ETH0. This means you're connected uh, via connection to your host computer. Um, that probably means you're running a uh, virtual box. If you see WLAN0, um, that means you have... Uh, you're probably running a uh, USB dual boot or something of that nature and it's using the computer's uh, chip. But you can easily find that just by typing um, ifconfig. So go ahead and select the interface and we'll, you'll just notice that packets will begin coming in and right now it's all uh, jumbled up and we can't really read it um, and it's hard to look through but you can use filters so we're leave, going to leave Wireshark running go to the login page and just type in admin and this is the pass I added some caps in there and we're just going to log in. Now I'm not going to get any kind of authentication, but the post and um, get request uh, were sent and received, so that's all that matters. But basically, this web page you know, tells you how to um, do things. Uh, you can put hints on it and it tells you how to do SQL injections and stuff like that, and you can test it on, and we will be getting into that later. But let's continue. So we're going to stop the capture so we don't get any more packets. As you can see, we captured quite a few already. Mostly traffic coming between the router 1.1 and this uh, device 1.5. So let's go ahead and just put a filter on for HTTP traffic, which we know is unencrypted. And we see we have two packets. So we have a post request right here. And then we have another uh, packet. So we captured two packets, one coming from 1.5 going to 1.4 and one coming from 1.4 going to 1.5. So hopefully this helps you understand, you know, basic networking um, and packet capturing. So as you can see right here where it says username equals, and this is the packet captured. We're actually looking at the packet, which is printed in clear text. Um, because um, it's under HTTP, so everything's going to be in clear text. You can read everything inside of the packet. But as you can see, we have a username of admin with the capital A that I put, and then this is the password capital all pass, or a capitals on pass. Um, this is the pass. So as you can see, it's exactly what I typed, and then we have the username admin, and we just did that by following the TCP stream of the um, unencrypted HTTP 
uh, packet. So you just go to follow and then TCP stream. We can also check the HTTP stream and see what type of information we can gather from this. And this is the HTTP uh, stream that we're following. And as you can see, you can still pull the username and password from that as well. And then you have, of course, the rest of the packet. So that is how you would simply sniff um, packets um, and gain uh, usernames and passwords that are sent under un unencrypted protocols, HTTP, um, not HTTPS, but you can use SSL strip or some type of, um, sometimes websites are mal configured and the HTTPS is configured incorrectly and they will also be vulnerable to packet sniffing and man in the middle attacks as well. So that's how you can gain information such as passwords, and um, this will also capture things like Telnet, um, uh, and it just has a, a whole bunch of types of different packets you can filter for. Um, and I do have another video on Wireshark going over the basics, um, which you can check out. But this will capture any clear text um, uh, packets going over the wire and you can just simply read those and pull the passwords out of it so it's always a good tool to have running during an internal pen test um, or if you're trying to just sniff traffic and capture passwords on a network um, of course a man in the metal tool that does SSL strip which doesn't really work that well anymore um, SSL strip doesn't really work that well anymore um, is effective um, but again, it only works on certain websites. Um, so hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe for more content, and as always, have fun, stay safe, keep hacking. Peace out. So that's how you would use Wireshark to gather passwords on certain login forms. Very, very simple, very, very easy. And when you're doing a pen test, it's something you should run um, right away because it's uh, very low utilization. You could just use it, run it, and let it do its thing, and then check the information data later after you've been doing other things. So hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and uh, subscribe, like, and see you later. Peace out.